Now we have Jennifer, 24 year old woman. She's got, she's normal weight and she has a lipidema of the whole leg type. And we planned three sessions of liposuction. We did the first session last week. It's, it's one week ago, the inner thigh and inner side of the knee. And we see here a normal um, situation with some hematomas, but they will heal. And again here the check for just a little bit edema. Here is soft, it's, it's perfect. Yeah. And also I check here if to make sure that all the fluid is going out. Yeah. But it's fine, it's soft. She has just little pain, but yeah. it's okay. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. I'm a um, size eight, um, six or eight, depends. But on the bottom part, I'm two sizes uh, larger. So, and um, when I was younger, um, I always felt that I have weight issues because when you when you're a teenager and you look at all those beautiful women around you with those perfectly shaped legs, um, you always think, well, no. I'm too fat, I need to lose weight. I try to change this, um, first of all, by trying to lose weight with any way you can, you can just imagine, just eating nothing at all. And then um, I did excessive sports. Um, I'm a passionate horseback rider, so um, I did a lot of training there. I went jogging, I, did, uh, I played badminton, um, went to the gym all of those things but nothing worked and then it started it turned out that my legs are not only bigger than other ones but also um, the skin doesn't look good so you feel as if you're a 90 year old woman so you're not comfortable uh, comfortable within yourself so this was this was really hard it changed my personality honestly because i don't go um partying with my with my friends i'm i'm more this lonely person because i always think no i'm not beautiful enough it's always difficult to get to know people i'm very shy um, other symptoms um, that i had were um, of course muscle cramps at night um, then it was my, my legs always felt cold always so i, I wear um when i when i'm um, sitting on my uh, couch in the evening i always wear two or three blankets over my legs and they still feel cold in the summer i have blankets over my legs because they feel cold and then um, i work um, at an office i have an office job and so when i come home at uh, in the evening i just want to um, hire my legs somewhere and but i don't find any position where you feel comfortable it's always you always need to move and find a correct position but you can only hold it for two minutes and then you need to change it again because the legs still hurt and another thing are the hematomas of course yeah i don't know how many i have and they, they, they're huge they're huge and i always think what did i do i, I don't remember that i went somewhere and, and where, where do they come from finally um two years ago they um, told me that this is a disease. My mom watched TV in Germany and um, there was um, a documentation about this. And then she said, well, maybe we should go to a doctor because this looks as if, as if you would have the same, like those women on, on this documentation. And uh, thank God the first doctor I went to um, knew exactly what he was talking about. And he um, told me that this is uh, lipidemia and yeah a disease so this was yeah it was a relief knowing that this is not that this is a disease and not um, something that uh, that i did i decided to um, do the surgery it was very fast actually a decision um, the doctor who discovered it um, when i went to him and had the first appointment where we talked about it um, he explained to me what options i have so those those special massage technique was one point then wearing those special tights he told me that i should um, make an appointment um, with dr rapprecht and i thought okay i will do it just just to know what what other options i might have or how the whole procedure would be and then i went here and from the minute on he told me about it i was like yeah i will do it no matter how much it costs but i want to have my life back
The actual surgery um, was not too bad actually. I mean, it was the first time I had surgery in my whole life and I was always afraid of doctors and those, those surgery rooms. I mean, we all watched Grey's and had some emergency room and we always imagined it like something very dangerous. But, um, but they were so nice to me and um, yeah, the surgery, it, was, it wasn't painful, it was just a weird feeling when you feel that your legs swole or, or this, 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 um, this liquid they, they insert um, makes your legs so huge and then um, they sent me to the toilet and it was such a weird feeling walking. But um, besides those weird feelings, it's absolutely not painful. And also after surgery, no pains. Honestly, you cannot really see it when I when I wear le when I wear trousers. But when I don't wear trousers, it's it's such an amazing feeling that when you see your your knee again, the, the shape of your knee. It was the evening after the surgery. I was just looking at my legs and thought, "Wow, I have a, I have a knee again." I'm very happy um, being able to buy clothes that I want, being able, as I said, going horseback riding without having the fear of, depending on what horse I'm going to ride, do I have muscle cramps again? And how does the horse react? I mean, it's, it's always dangerous if you cannot move your one leg. And um, I'm, I'm happy to just be able to, um, to go to the, to the swimming pool again without thinking that everyone is looking at you so I think for me, it will be a whole new ex life experience, being, being able to, to do things that other people do at my age. And um, I'm, I'm so happy that I did this step and said, yes, I will do the surgery. And um, I, cannot, I cannot stop smiling <laughs> because it's just, oh, I'm, I'm so happy when I think about the future.